morning. It is Monday morning. It's like a little, it's like 20 to 11 right now. I'm in line uh, for the Starbucks. I went to a bar class this morning at 9.30 and it ended like I have too much of a weird amount of time in between the ending of that class and getting to my allergy shot at 11.10. I don't want to go home and like be there for 10 minutes and then like freak my dog out and then make him upset about, about getting back into his crate. So I thought I would just sit in line at the Starbucks for 20 minutes. And so far I've been in this line for 10 minutes. So I think I made the right decision. So things that we're doing today, I don't know how I'm gonna like really fill my time other than the allergy shot, between my allergy shot and then also leaving to go to Atlanta slash Kennesaw. Not slash, those are very different places, but I had to go down to Atlanta to get to Kennesaw for rock climbing today. So my friend Chelsea and Bailey and I are going to go climbing for the first time for me, for the first time since probably January, since actually since I started doing bar. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> I, don't know. I have to leave to get there so that our appointment time, you have to make reservations. Our appointment time is seven to nine and I had to leave at like five <laughs> to get there on time. I think I don't want to leave my dog um, at home because he's been freaking out a lot recently because he's not on his anxiety medicine anymore. So he's been like freaking out um, and like kind of being destructive because he's like so freaked out that he's like at home um and even this morning like leaving like I always do every single morning he was still like freaking out I think what I want to do would be one of two things one I could like ask my neighbors and kind of impose on them um letting my dog stay there though they love him for a certain amount of time I won't really be getting back until like maybe after 11. hold on I gotta order thank you for choosing Starbucks I'm gonna get started for you today Hi, can I have a, a grande pumpkin cold brew, pumpkin cream? Yeah, what else for you? This banana was just like not doing it for me. I don't want a banana. And option two is asking, also imposing upon my parents. Oh my God, that poodle has pink hair. That's so cute. Seeing if like I could drop Dorian off. It's kind of late for them, to be honest. I'd be picking him up at like 9.30. And it's possible. I guess I, I'll call and ask my mom. I need to figure out what I'm doing between 12 when I get back to my place until 5 when I have to leave. So for like 5 hours, I, I don't know. Should I just sit and read? That sounds like a good idea, honestly. It sounds like the responsible thing to do. Cold for you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. so dang good. 10.50. So, perfect time to head to school to get to my allergy shot. Ow, ow, this hurts. Ow. So we're going to get Dorian fed. He just went out and went potty. We're going to get him fed and But I want to show you my um, my shoes slash outfit. I got these like back in summer, I guess, like kind of into summer. They look like slippers that you can wear outside your house, but they're like they're Manitonkin, so they have like a suede bit here. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about these socks with it, but from the side they look better. From the front, it looks a little bit strange. I know. And leggings, and then this like kind of longer, uh, sort of active wear kind of sweater thing. Anyway, so we're gonna go to the talk bar. Let's go get in the car. I'm so excited. Okay, we have fun at the park. 
Mediterranean play with two dogs, sort of. You can call it playing. And now we are on the way home. It's like 1.40, so we are there for like an hour. Don't know if I said that. <laughs> so cute. Three, four hours, I'm gonna make a smoothie. And then I'm gonna try to read. Get some of that done, I'm excited. My shot spots are pretty swollen. Both of them are, I can tell, and they kind of hurt, but they're really itchy. So it's been more than four hours, so I can take another Loretidin, which is just like a Claritin. So I'm going to take some more of that when I get home. Here's my smoothie. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Just working on exporting this video. I edited it while we were at the Toss Park. It was great. I made a video about what was in my climbing bag, so if you want to see a detailed, uh, quick video about that, it's a lot of fun. Be sure to check the description down below or the cards above. Dorian, you want to go see the grandpa rinse? You want to go see your grandparents? Grandpa rinse? On the way to Atlanta right now, I'm sure that blowing is really annoying. But it's hot. It's like 81 degrees outside. When did that happen? I did not know. It was like really cold this morning. So, um, uh, here's my shot spot. This <laughs> That's the one arm. And there's the other one. Ooh, this whole area. So it's not as obvious on this arm as it is on this arm. I took an Advil. I've taken three Claritin on top of my one Zyrtec. So I'm hoping that the Advil makes the swelling go down because like tricep is here. This is supposed to be like smaller than the tricep, but it's bigger and so like my arm looks super weird. Um, so I was hoping the swelling will go down because I'm about to go climb, you know, in like two hours. So I'll be there. Yeah, it's at seven. So leaving Athens, I have to go to Kennesaw, which is really far away. So typically, the one, the gym that I wanted to go to is in Atlanta, so it's literally just like an hour. I'm gonna put on my other sunglasses. My my own my my other glasses that are sunglasses. Cool. Yeah. An hour away, which is easy for me to get to. But we weren't able to get a slot for all three of us. I don't know if I already said this, so we're now having to go to Kennesaw, which is an additional 40 minutes for me. But I have to stop at my parents' house, so. It makes it worth it by going to Kennesaw because I can take Dorian and he doesn't have to stay at home by himself. So it's like a give and take kind of thing. The express lane is pretty tight. Even though I'm only going about 45, 50, at least I'm not stopped. Going south on 85 into Atlanta by rush hour. Six o'clock now, and at this point, I would definitely be at the other gym if I was going to it. But I have, according to my GPS, it is very bright, <laughs> driving into the sun. I have 30-ish minutes to get to my parents' house, and then um, I'll probably be there for like 10 minutes or something. I gotta make it quick because I have to get up to the Kennesaw gym, which is about 20 minutes away from my parents' house. So I don't know, I might get there 10 minutes late, 10 minutes early, I don't really know. But we'll see what happens. We should be getting to Stone Summit, Kennesaw, about five till seven. So that's perfect timing. So these yellow signs right here, CDW, these are filming signs. So they are codes for whatever they're filming, and they let the crew members know like which way they should be going off of the highways. Right, this is a voiceover just to describe the gym a little bit and kind of what we did so we were there for two hours which was our like time slot that we had to sign up for in advance and they're doing this so that people don't like overcrowd the gyms and things like this because of covid 
So everyone had a mask on. It was great. You had to like leave at least one route in between uh, other people climbing. So there was no one actually climbing directly next to you. Um, I was trying to get time lapses of everyone climbing. So I got like one of me, Chelsea and Bailey, but I filmed them vertically. So <laughs> they don't really fill the screen super well. And so that you don't really get to see like the top portion of the climb, which is actually like a little bit more interesting than the bottom portion because you're tired. But I hope to get better climbs later. I don't think you can really see me at all. I'm trying to get a little bit closer so you can see, but I'm on the way back to my parents' house right now. It's like 9.15 and we climbed for two hours. I think we each climbed about like four routes. That's what they're called. The long, I guess, treks up to the top with certain colored holds. I love that gym. It is just so great. I've climbed in um, some other gyms in Vermont, in, um, Quebec. Quebec is really nice, but um, the gyms that I climbed at in Vermont, there was just one that was like all the holds were all different colors and so it was like really hard to tell like what color route you were on so it just used tape. This is a, there's a gym like this in, in Athens as well um, and they use like all different color holds and so it's like but at least at, at Sun Summit which is where we just were like they have all the same colored holds and so it's like really clear like where you're on the which route you're on and you don't put your foot on the wrong one so i'm gonna see you in a bit when i get my dog okay it is real dark i don't know if you can see anything <laughs> it's 9 45 on the way back to athens it should be about an hour and 30 minutes i'm starving okay i don't know if i'm gonna get anything it's like really kind of late i don't know if anything's like open i kind of just want like a hot fudge sundae that sounds delicious but other than that um i'm actually not gonna see in athens because i'm just gonna go ahead and end this video now so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this it was definitely something a little bit different but i used to be super super into climbing i would do it like almost every day like five days a week um and i haven't been able to do that because of covid so I want to do this more often, but it's probably only going to be like once a week. Anyway, I do typically post stuff about art and other things. I want to include more of this like lifestyle kind of stuff. If this, if this is considered lifestyle, I don't know, on this channel. So if you are into that, be sure to like and subscribe to be notified for when we sporadically post. And we'll see you in the next one.